welcome back. In this video, we are going to be reviewing Canadian money. We're looking at the values of the coins and the bills. We're going to start by looking at the penny, the one with the maple leaves on it. We don't use the penny anymore. It actually costs more to create it than what it was worth. When we did use it, it was worth one cent or written in dollars, 0 0.01 dollars. The nickel with the beaver on it is worth five cents or written as dollars is 0 0.05. It's important to know these decimals as well because it helps us add money a little bit easier. The dime is worth 10 cents. It has the blue nose or the boat on it and written in dollars, zero decimal one zero. The quarter with the caribou on it is worth 25 cents or written in dollars is zero decimal 25 cents. The loony with the loon or the bird on it is worth a hundred cents and every 100 cents we get one dollar. So we can write this as one dollar. And lastly our toonie with the polar bear on it is worth 200 cents and as we know every 100 cents gives us one dollar so 200 cents is going to give us two dollars. Now when we count or look at money we need to look at our benchmarks. Two really good benchmarks to get used to counting are dimes and quarters. Getting used to counting by tens and twenty fives. Every dime is worth ten cents and every ten dimes equals one dollar. And quarters, really good to get used to counting quarters, 25, 50, 75, 100. Get into that rhythm. One quarter is 25 and four quarters equals one dollar. That's a really good relationship to remember to help you later on. Lastly, we'll look at the bills. We have a blue five dollar bill, a purple ten dollar bill, a green $20 bill, a red $50 bill, and a brown $100 bill. We're going to look more closely at those bills when we get to the video about making change. Okay, we're going to do two examples to review how to count money. One key thing to help us remember is to start with the bigger numbers. Get them out of the way. They're the easy ones to count. When we get to the cents, then we get more complicated. So let's start with the dollars. We're going to break them up into two groups, dollars and cents. The biggest one I have here is $10. I'm a dot. I know I got it. The next biggest would be the $5. Then I have the $2 and the $1. $1. We're going to add it up. So we have 10 plus 5 is 15. Plus 2, 17, plus 1, 18 dollars. Now we move on to the cents. We go and look for any of the ones that have a cent symbol up here, like these little guys. We have a 25 cents and another 25 cents. We're going to add them together. Well, I know my rhythm 25, 50, 75, 100, 25, 50. So I have 50 cents. Now this here, I want you to start thinking as a decimal. Remember how in the part, first part of the video we had 5 cents or 0 decimal 0 0.05? We're going to turn this into decimal 2. This becomes 0 decimal 50. Now all we do is take our dollars and our cents, and we're going to put them together. $18 plus 50 cents gives me $18.50. Okay, our second example. Again, we're going to start with the bigger numbers, and we're going to go with the dollars first. Well, I have a $50 over here, and I have... $20 there. The rest are cents. So 50 plus 20, 
$70. Now I go to my cents. I have the biggest ones, which is 25 cents plus 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents, that's all four of those, plus 10 cents. Now something I noticed right away when I was counting these ones was that I had a lot of 25s. So I'm gonna group them. I have one, two, three, four. If I remember from early in the video, four quarters gives me a dollar. 25, 50, 75, 100. So this is one dollar. So I'm gonna get rid of that and just count up the 10 cents. So now I have 10 cents, but I know this means a decimal. Zero, decimal one, zero. The last thing I need to do is total up all of my amounts. So I have $70 here, plus the $1 that I discovered in there, plus the 10 cents that I had left over. 70 plus one, is $71.10. So this is one way that we can use to regroup cents to create dollars. And you're gonna find sometimes that the cents do go over 100. If I had kept counting this, 25, 50, 75, 100, 110. 110 cents is over 100. That 100 gives me my nice round dollar. Okay, that's another way of looking at it too, taking out the hundreds. That's it for this video. The next video will look at adding amounts of money.